Well, welcome to the Schaumburg Township Historical Society um, historic bus tour. Unfortunately, this year we're bringing it to you virtually. Um, and you're also welcome to visit the Schaumburg Township Historical Society's web page at s-t-h-s.org um, to find the self-guided tour and take it yourself. Today, um, you're joining us on St. Peter Lutheran Church's campus. And so most people know the St. Uh, Peter Lutheran Church uh, congregation as the modern worship space that's on Schaumburg Road. But when you turn into the parking lot, there's a wealth of history back here that we're gonna look at today. So right now I'm in front of the 1863 Historic Chapel. Um, and even before this building was built, um, the uh, congregation was founded in 1847 and they built the original building on Schaumburg Road. At that time it was Easy Street, um, nowadays it's Schaumburg Road and it was moved back here. Um, and that served as the first worship space for the congregation. It also served as a school as well. And then when the congregation outgrew its space, it moved here to the 1863 historic chapel that they had built as the congregation grew in size. The first Reverend Francis Hoffman uh, served from 1847 until 1851. He retired because of poor health, but he later did go on to become a banker in Chicago and actually the 15th Lieutenant Governor of the state of Illinois. He was an ally of Lincoln and he also helped found the Republican Party here in the state of Illinois. Obviously, we're very lucky to be here today. This church only opens on special occasions um, and for special reasons, so welcome. The congregation worshiped in this building for over a century, and the Lutheran faith was dominant in the area until about 1960s, 1970s. And actually, services were held in German until 1948. Unfortunately, in 1904, bad luck would have it that lightning struck the steeple and a fire burnt for seven hours, causing a lot of destruction to it. Louis Menke was able to reconstruct the steeple for $891, and then the organ was replaced for $2,000 uh, because it had suffered a lot of water damage. The congregation also renovated um, the steeple in 1971 on its 125th year anniversary. So in addition to the two churches that are on campus, you also have the church's cemetery. It was plated in 1847, along with the establishment of the congregation. And it's a very important historical component of um, Schaumburg, since a lot of the local uh, founding families are buried there. You'll recognize a lot of the names. Um, right now, they're um, remembered in local street names. Um, but as you go through the cemetery, you'll see a lot of names that you recognize. And it's the resting place for many of the German founding fathers and families that were um, here that founded Schomburg. And so you're welcome to come and explore on your own and take a self-guided tour of our um, the, the wealth of history that's located back here. And hopefully next year we'll see you again, uh, once again on our historical bus tour. Thank you very much for joining us again today. In addition to all the historical buildings on St. Peter Lutheran campus, you can also find the schoolhouse just north of the original church building. Um, this is a collaboration between the Schomburg Township Historical Society and the Township of Schomburg as well as the Schomburg Township District Library, and we're happy to have brought you this historical bus tour, although virtually today. And uh, you may go to the Schomburg Township Historical Society uh, webpage. It's s-t-h-s.org, and there you can find the self-guided tour, and please come and enjoy. Thank you.